of Marigree. How do you enjoy these days? Are you happy? You studied Sunu Sunu's lesson last week. Do you like the Sunu Sunu or do you like the ants? Shall we learn some grammar today? Today we will study what are the uses of is, am, um, are and has, have. Is, am, um, are, has, have. These are very small words. They are called helping words. They are also called auxiliary verbs. Helping verbs are also called auxiliary verbs. There are 24 auxiliary verbs, but we study only 5 now. So what are the first 3 helping verbs we are going to study? Is, am, um, are. They are the present forms of be. Present means to show the uh, time of now. Present means now. Past means already completed. Is, am, um, are. These are, I told you, helping verbs. Among these three, is is used with the singular subjects, singular nouns. Anjali is a girl. Sheila is a good dancer. Varun is a good artist. Yes. Is is used with singular subjects. Is, am, are. Am, am, am. Am is used only with I. Your students have a best friends, like, isn't it? Yes. Only best friends, you will go to toilets together. You will go for taking food together. Your best friends will go together to take water. Am is the best friend of I or I is the best friend of am. I am. Am will go only with the I. And the third one, are. Are is used with the plural nouns, plural subjects. Boys are playing. Girls are dancing. Dogs are barking. Birds are flying. Are is used with the plural subjects. Plural, more than one. Singular, single, one. We studied it in the first lesson. So once again, is, am, um, are. They are the present forms of be, be, e, be. Is used with the singular subject. Am um, will go only with I. Are is used with the plural subjects. Now we will speak about have, has. Has, have shows the possession also. I have a pen means I possess a pen. I am the owner of the pen. I have a pet dog. Sheila has a pet dog. Sheila is the owner of that pet dog. So have and show, has shows possession, ownership also. They are at a time. Auxiliary words also, helping words. But they show possession also. Whereas is, am, are shows the state of being. Other than being auxiliary verb or a helping verb, is, am, are shows the possession, uh, state of being also. For example, Nirmala is sick. What is the state of Nirmala now? Sick. I am confident. What is, this, what is my state now? Confident. So, is, am, are shows the State of, like he is a teacher. What is his state now? A teacher. They are doctors. What are their state now? Doctor. So is Amar have or has? They are not only auxiliary verbs or helping verbs, but is Amar shows state of being. Have or has shows the show the possession ownership also. Now let us see. And uh, I want to tell you that. Like is, am, are, have and has also is used differently. Let us see. Like is, has is used with singular subjects. Wherever we use is, we can use has also. Whatever subjects along with we used is, we can use has. For example, she 
is a dancer. We, we made a sentence. She is a singular subject. Along with the she, we can use has also. She has a pet dog. Because she is a singular subject. Just remember, singular s is s has s. So this is a short, uh, a, a, an easy method. And do you remember last year when I taught you s ending words like place, cries, laughs, smiles, drives, runs, jumps. These are verbs with the s at the end. All the S ending verbs are singular. Is, drives, has, goes, comes, jumps, dances, sings. All these are singular verbs. And wherever we use the am and are, we can use have there. Along with I have. We use the am there. Now we can use have also with the I. I have. They are doctors. They have stethoscope with them. Monkeys make a lot of noise. They have a long tail also. These are beautiful flowers. They have sweet fragrance. So, wherever we use the am and are, along with the such a subjects, we can use have because have is used with the plural subjects. Did you understand? We will go through the exercises and you will understand better. Take page number 34. We use is and am when we mean one person or thing. Am is used only with the I. We use R for more than one person or thing. Fill in the blanks with the is, am, R. Here you have to see what is the subject, real subject of the, or the real subject of the sentence. For example, I dash a snail is, am, R. Who is the best friend of I? Am. Yes, I am a snail. My name is Sunu Sunu. My means I am only one person. So my name is Sunu Sunu. The ants dash my friends. Ants. Singular or plural? Plural. Ants are my friends. I dash going to meet them. I am. Very good answer. I am going to meet them. Try to do the remaining exercise you are on. We will discuss it during the online session. Yes, take the next page, page number 35. I dash, fill in the blanks with the has or have. I told you, has or have are auxiliary verbs, helping verbs, as well as they show the possession, ownership. I'm a doctor. I have a stethoscope. I'm the owner of the stethoscope. I'm a teacher. I have my ID card. This is, I have an ID card with me. I am the owner of this ID card. Okay. So, do this exercise also yourself. We will discuss. I will give you the correct answers in the class, online class. So, shall we stop there? Yes, that is the end of today's class. We will discuss the remaining in the online session. Take care. Bye-bye.